Okay, here is my crappy vacuum pump setup. $12 little pump, just some random 12 volt power supply, on and off switch. Um, so, uh, pressure gauge, um, pressure switch, uh, one way valve. So, this doesn't let. This doesn't let the pressure leave the system back to the pump. It also um, is good for the pump because it lets pressure be relieved so the pump isn't holding all that pressure if it doesn't want. Um, this here has a screw adjustment right there. And uh, if I was to turn that, that one way, the pressure would go up. And if I turn it the other way, it would go down. There's basically a range of about four, inches of mercury and so it'll pump up to the high drop down to the low pump up to the high and let it drop down to the low and th these these power lines right here if we go the other side come right here so they basically um, break the power that this is putting out. This is always putting out 12 volts. I, I essentially snipped one of its wires and so um, this is basically, no I mean literally it's a cherry switch and it's normally open I guess you would say and then when it notices that the pressure is too low it completes the circuit and the pump goes up to whatever you set it to and once it realizes that it breaks that connection and the pump shuts down so I guess more accurately it would be to say that the <clears throat> the, uh, the transformer the power supply is always on and it's only able to provide power once that switch is completed so and then it comes down to a nice little, I actually purchased this because that's kind of a hard part to make. All this kind of stuff is just like plumbing stuff and you know tubing, um, but this was pretty hard. These these are actual vacuum bagging clips. This is actual vacuum bagging material. It's a tube, so you only have to seal the ends. So that is my setup currently.